Welcome, Mr. Sango Chesoni. We're having this discussion in context with um, a current event that we're having, which is the International Conference on the Interpretation and Shaping of Transformative Constitutions, such as ours in Kenya. What are some of the challenges that you see in our current context with regard to the implementation of the Constitution? Um, for instance, we've seen a lot of conflict between the different arms of government, the judiciary, the executive, and the legislature. Um, what are some of the other challenges that you have seen? Okay. So we have the challenge of a public that hasn't ent understood the, the roles of these institutions. Mm -hmm. Um, but more disturbingly, we also have a lack of understanding amongst some of the people that are in office in those institutions. So that, for example, if you look at the issue of devolution, um, one of the findings of the Office of the Budget, of, of, of the control of the budget, for example, was that there were many counties which did not ask for, fun, for, for development funds because they didn't even know that, they, that they're entitled to those funds. So there's a need to undertake training for both the public in terms of them understanding the new offices. There's need for, for civic education in that respect, but there's also need for training for those who, have, who are holding these new offices as well. Um, I think there is also need for equipping the various institutions that partner with each other. And one of the issues that had been raised on the floor of the, con of, of, of the conference, for example, is that the fact that even if we have a strong judiciary that um, is engaged in progressive interpretation, if the other institutions, the other arms of the state, um, the legislature, the executive, if the um, independent offices don't understand their own roles, the commissions don't understand their own roles, then we will still have a problem because judiciary, for example, has a responsibility to interpret the legislature makes the laws, the judiciary interprets, and the executive executes, and so is responsible for the implementation of um, the decisions, for example, that are coming out. So if there isn't understanding at those other levels, then we'll have a problem. So I think there's need to partner with those other institutions as well and to encourage the understanding that they all have a responsibility to serve the people. Um, unfortunately, one of the things that we have witnessed is an, op is an attempt in some instances to seek supremacy over other institutions. And I think it's important that public officials understand that it's the citizens that are supreme. It is the people that are supreme and that they have a responsibility to serve the people. The Constitution itself states that. So that's shifting that culture and shifting it to one where they learn to work in partnership with other institutions in order to deliver on the promise of the Constitution. Thank you.